With Microsoft's acquisition of GitHub, there's now a strong interest in people finding an indie web alternative to GitHub, and Git is a great alternative. It's fast, it's super easy to install, it's lightweight enough to run on a Raspberry Pi, and it's full featured enough for your project or your team. So I'm gonna show you mine, tell you about some of the benefits I enjoy, and then show you how to install it in just a matter of minutes. So here is my Gitty installation, git.coolaj6.com. You can see I got sign in with GitHub and it's pretty familiar and easy to use. It looks just like GitHub does. And I'll show you what we need is the installer. So here's one of my projects. I have this installer hosted here. So what we're gonna do is set up a VPS on DigitalOcean uh, I have a domain on name.com that I'm going to add a DNS record for it, so it'll point there. Then we'll do the installer and migrate over a repo, and then I'll do a second video on some more of the advanced setup, like how to get SSL with Let's Encrypt through Greenlock, and how to do um, Mailgun, so you got mail out to your contributors. Oh, one of the things I love about this is that I run Google Analytics on it, and I have the email of people that are signing up for my project, so I've got a much tighter loop on my community, and I love that a lot. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to create a DigitalOcean droplet. I'm gonna go with the cheapest one. I'm gonna go with the data center that's fairly close to me. I'm going to add my SSH key and I'm gonna call this uh, Gitty Demo. So that's gonna take a few seconds. We'll just wait that out. Okay, here's that IP address. I'm going to go over to name.com. I'm already at my DNS page. I'm going to call this Gitty Demo. Paste in the IP address there. Add the record for it. I'm going to wait just an extra second because sometimes the very first time that you uh, try to access the DigitalOcean box, it's not quite ready yet. So wait a second there. And then root at gitiademo.people.family is my domain. Now, if you didn't add an SSH key, you might be getting an email that has your root password in it. Um, I suggest using SSH keys, but that's a topic for another time. Okay, so now I'm logged in, and I'm going to go over to this installer, which you can kind of see this is a, a summary. I'd encourage you to read the full script to know for yourself, but that's kind of a summary of what it's doing. It's just um, creating a user, creating a directory. Everything's installed to one place, so it's nice and simple. Um, you don't have to worry about it cluttering up uh, your system or messing with any dependencies. So I downloaded the installer in the first step and then I run the installer in the second step. So it got the latest version. Okay, now it is time to configure. This is the IP address that I need to go to to finish the installation. I could just as well go to the domain. Um, it's running by default on port 3000. When it comes up, now for most of us, we don't need something really heavy and bulky like MySQL or Postgres or any of that. SQLite will do just fine. So that's what I'm going to show you here. And this one I'm going to call Gitty Demo for the name that's going to show up in the title bar here. Um, as part of the installer, I pre-configured some of the paths and the user. Uh, okay, so domain that we're going to use is again Gitty Demo. Family. And I'm going to leave the HTTP port at 3000 because we're going to add SSL in front of it and change that. So the application URL will actually be, we'll have to come back and change later to make that HTTPS and get rid of the port number. But for right now, we will leave it as this so that just so that we can test it and the next video will clear that up and I'm not going to show in this video how to do um, mailgun configuration but we'll do that later one thing that I do want to add here though is to enable captcha so we will turn that on and then finish the installer now the first account that we create is going to be the admin account so we didn't even need to go and do that in the settings so I'm just going to be j6 at gmail.com set up my password say remember me um, oh okay my bad and hopefully I can read this one thing with the captions is they're so hard to read see look at that there we go go ahead and remember me all right now I'm signed in so the last step that I need to do here 
is create a migration. So I'm going to go over to GitHub to a project that I have. I'm going to, uh, this is public. If it were private, I would also need to put in authorization, but I don't need to. So I'm just going to put in the public address. I'm going to give it the same name as I had before. And uh, then I could copy over the project description. IOJS isn't a thing anymore. It shows you how old this repo is. And I click Migrate Repository. And voila! Now I would just go into GitHub, edit my README, and say this project has been moved, which that one actually already had been moved. Anyway, so that's the full setup process for Gitty. Now I have an amazing, awesome, uh, personal Git platform where I can build a community, I can get Google Analytics, I can customize the theme. So you've seen on mine, I've got my own logo, I put a custom footer, uh, I've made it so that signing with GitHub is super prominent, and some of those things are explained uh, right here, how I change some of those. I hope that you enjoy Gitty as much as I do, and uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe, would appreciate it. Thanks.